Well, um, I'd worked at a, quite a famous research institute before this and uh, I knew I wanted to go on for a PhD and I wanted to, to be at an equally famous institution or uh, renowned and also one of um, lots of facilities and a good academic community. So, yeah, that's why I went for UCL because I was told it was very good. Well, um, I'm doing a PhD in speech hearing and phonetic sciences right now, and I'm in my first year, so I've still got three, me three more years to go on that, and I'd like to keep on going as a researcher after that. And I find my field is very interesting because it's um, a very new kind of field, so it's um, in the area of linguistics, but also in the area of um, more so, sort of a sciencey area in neurolinguistics. So I'm looking at uh, brain responses using an MEG machine. And that's uh, quite interesting, and it's also quite unusual in my field, which is second language acquisition. So I'm very excited about this opportunity. <laughs> I hadn't lived in such a large city before, so it's really exciting. Um, sort of socially, you sort of can go out in your free time. There's lots of exhibitions, and I really like going to the science museum late nights. They're really exciting. They're once a month and then the Science Museum stays open till 10 o'clock and it's only for adults and they have uh, wine and everything there and then they have special lectures on certain topics so that's really nice, I like going there. I like going to exhibitions at the British Museum, um, I like going out, clubbing, not that often but sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah and uh, it's just nice walking through London and looking at stuff and I like um, the university also um, organises quite a lot of stuff um, so they have these give it a go thingies where they just have um, one off occasions like horse riding or going to Greenwich or going to Cambridge or going to Oxford or what have I done? A ghost tour, ghost tour walk and it's quite exciting. You pay a few pounds and then you sign up at the, at the Bloomsbury Theatre and then you can just go and you meet totally different people each time and make quite a few friends that way. And it's especially nice if you're an international student and you don't have um, a lot of ready made friends here. So you can always get to meet new people, have coffee with them, and, and keep it going afterwards, and see something nice on the way. Now that I've switched to doing a PhD, I have my own desk in my department, so I'm quite independent of the library. And I use the internet resources a lot, obviously, so international journals and that, so obviously I need to read that a lot. And, um, oh, I do a lot with the graduate school, so they have really excellent courses, especially their um, residential courses. So I just did one in, um, was it November? So it was three days and we were taken to this country mansion and it was all inclusive and uh, totally new people and they're all, um, they were all PhD or, or master's level. And we had this, I should maybe not say too much about this because it's sort of secret, but we had this uh, group task and we split up into two teams and then we were racing against each other all night and we had to sort of, uh, decrypt clues and it was very exciting so I can't tell exactly what it is because I think they use the same scenario every year so <laughs> but it was very exciting with three days and absolutely knackered after three days but uh, you've got to know new people very well and it was um, practicing team skills and management skills and leadership skills and I'm booked for another one in April and it's a management course so it's very interesting and uh, the cult also does a really good job so um, in um, personal and professional development of, of skills, so it's really good. So I can really recommend the cult in the graduate school. Well, I've lived in Prankett House, I've lived in Schaefer House, and I've lived in Goldsmith House now. And in Prankett House I lived as a student doing my MRes bit, so last year, and in Schaefer House and Goldsmith House I've been as a vice warden. And um, I must say they're very well looked after and um, they're very well maintained and if you have any sort of problems with the building or anything like that then it gets sorted really quickly so it's, also, it's very nice for an international student to have to worry about the bills or anything and this um, it's safe, there's CCTV in their entrances and they try not to let anyone in and, <laughs> and as a vice warden we sort of try and look after our students and uh, there's someone on call 24 hours a day so out of office hours is a duty mobile which one of us has so we split it uh, we split uh, the time outside of hours on a duty rotor and then whoever has some duty mobile has to stay within 10 minutes walking distance of the residence so then we're back in the case of emergency like a fire or in case someone's ill or gets hurt or there's some building related problems like flooding or something that can always happen so um, 
Yeah, so that's quite an interesting job, actually. I wish I'd studied here always. <laughs> I did a master at a German uh, university, and although I, I had really good supervisors, and um, I did make the most out of my time there, but I do prefer the, the system at the English universities, because uh, the German universities, when I studied there, it was a bit too free, and there's, not, there's no deadlines, and you're left to your own devices a bit too much, and then you could sort of waste time a lot and procrastinate, because you're not sure what you're supposed to do, or you do too many courses, or, so in my case. So, uh, I prefer it this way where it's more structured and you know, you've got someone behind you all the time and you've got a, kind of, a, a supervisor or a tutor or something like that and I think it's probably a more efficient way of studying. So uh, yeah, but it's also nice to have the experience of studying somewhere else.